The Pike County Fiscal Court has begun the process to reopen the Pikeville Senior Center after its closure due to structural issues two years ago. About two years ago, we found additional uh, cracks in subsidence. Uh, we brought a structural engineer in, we had a geotechnical study done, and the conclusion was that the building is settling, particularly on the back part of the building. To stabilize the foundation of the existing building, it would cost upwards of $400,000 with no guarantee the building wouldn't continue to sink. And the city was kind enough to provide a building at Bob Amos, leased it to uh, the county for purposes of using as a senior citizen center. After having the building at Bob Amos inspected, it was estimated it would cost around $1 million to retrofit the building and get it up to code for the senior center. We've hired Summit Engineer, Kevin Gillum, who's their architect, to look at both uh, the options of uh, taking the building at Bob Amos and turning it into a center, or tearing the existing building down and building a lighter weight structure uh, on the same location as the existing center uh, moving it forward away from a storm uh, drain that runs under the back of the building and, and looking at the feasibility of putting a, a floating type foundation under it that we wouldn't have to worry about subsidence like we have with the existing structure. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. The grant office is working to obtain grant funding to help reconstruct the senior center. Most of the funding for our senior citizens program is federal funding, and it's tied to basically the average daily attendance, sort of like school funding. The Pikeville Senior Citizen Center is the most highly attended senior citizen center. That center drives funding that helps sustain the entire program. So it's very important that we have an open senior citizen center here because without it, it jeopardizes funding for the entire program. There is currently no timeline on when the senior center will be reopened. For Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.